with Sydney Paranormal Research, also known as WISWA, um, co-founder of the organisation, and I have two of my colleagues with me. There's a couple of similarities with the book as far as, um, you know, they do research as well, uh, or find out why the, um, the place is haunted, what's, you know, they're doing detective work as well. So we start, before an investigation, always doing our his history and background checks and trying to get as much information as possible. Um, and then, of course, when we're there on site, if there is anything that we come across and we um, explore quite extensively, even Kat just doing her photos, you know, as media officer, um, we'll come across bits and pieces of things that we think, oh, wow, I wonder if that has anything to do with, you know, what, the, what activity that has been happening. We, we do actually ask our clients beforehand as well if they've actually purchased anything or inherited anything or bought anything from antique shop or somewhere that, that, that they don't know the history that may have attributed to sudden, you know, sudden um, unexplained activity. And if there is anything that they have got, then we'll kind of single that out and, and do further checks on it. Um, and just see if possibly that may have something to do with why they're now having activity. So what I have here is called a millimeter. A millimeter is really cool because it was actually designed specifically for paranormal investigations and ghost hunting in particular. Um, it was actually designed by a man who wanted to get in contact with his daughter who had passed away in a car accident. So uh, a lot of the equipment we use um, is from other industries but this one in particular is especially designed for the paranormal investigator. Uh, it does a multiple number of things. So this is a lot, uh, well, many different pieces of equipment put into the one package. So we have an EMF meter here. Uh, EMF stands for electromagnetic fields. One of the theories being is that um, ghosts or spirits can actually manifest using energy, that energy being electromagnetic energy. So. We think that they may distort or change the electromagnetic energy uh, in the atmosphere around us, or that they use the electromagnetic fields to actually manifest or be heard, all that sort of stuff. So there's an EMF meter in there. Along with that is a um, thermometer. This thermometer will actually obviously measure the air temperature. One of the theories being that um, when ghosts or spirits manifest, they will actually change the temperature of the room around you. Um, the reason why that is, we think, is because they will actually draw on that energy, um, which will actually drop the air temperature in a room. So there's an EMF meter, there's also a, um, a thermometer. Another really cool thing on here as well is called a REM, which is a, a ra uh, REM stands for radiating electromagnetic field. So out of this antenna, a little electromagnetic field will emanate from it. And um, if anything comes close to that antenna on an investigation, lights will flash, alarm will sound, and that will be a good indication for us that something uh, may be near us. So that's one of the really cool pieces of equipment that we use 